In the fall of 1991, Tom Cochran released the landmark album Mad Mad World. 25 years later, here we are with over 1 million copies sold. He's marking that incredible milestone with a deluxe reissue and an upcoming tour. Please welcome the legendary Tom Cochran. Are you kidding me? 25 years ago when you're only 31. Like, how did That's you right. manage this when you were six Amazing. years old? Does it feel like 25 years ago? It, no, it doesn't. And uh, I think when you, you know, we were talking about, you know, when you do something you love, it just, uh, it goes by in a blink of, blink of an eye. And, uh, you know, I just, I love it. And I feel like a kid when I'm up there. We were talking about that, too, that, you know, at its best, you're like 15 years of age. You know, Springsteen, the same thing. I worked with him a few years ago, and he's like, he's 15. Playing in the garage with his buddies. <laughs> the only difference is there's thousands of people up front. So it's it's um, it's a real pleasure and it's a trust and and I've been blessed to be able to do what I do and and I try not to forget that you know that that these songs mean they're they're like life markers for people you know and songs kind of like God's gift to us that let us know there's a soul there's a beginning and an end we can't touch them but we know they they indicate there's something more there. They you affect know. us deeply yeah. emotionally. And they they tighten, raise they us up. Yeah, exactly. And I know your dad was a huge supporter of yours. This is we really do mm -hmm. a lot of this to him because most yeah. parents would say, "You're going to do what? You want to be a musician? You're crazy." Instead, he offered you great advice. Well, he said I was crazy, <laughs> but he said that you know I was a pilot coming out of World War II, and everybody said you could make a living doing that. So, uh, but he said, you know, just promise me one thing: you give it 150 percent, know when to get out. But I'm still in. So You've given it 150 you percent. Know, Look at you. And no, then, of course, 17. Life is a Highway is an anthem for so many of us. And it was very cathartic for you to write that song. It was coming out of something that was very near and dear to your heart. You're very involved with charities. And you're yeah. actually the longest running ambassador for World Vision. So yeah, you were coming back from Mozambique. It's a lot. It's heavy. Yeah, I mean, it was a long, long trip. Uh, we covered a lot of countries on that first trip to Africa. And, you know, we were in war zones and saw people die in front of us from starvation. And, and it, it left a lot of scars on my psyche. I came home and dealt with it the best way I could, which was to write a song that, that was a pep talk to myself because you can't change it all yourself. You can, you just got to keep your eye on the road ahead of you, spread some goodwill along the way, try to do some good, and hopefully it spreads up from there because if you get distracted to the right or left, you're going to crash. So you just got to do what you can as an individual and, um, and keep moving forward, you know, and that's sort of the metaphor for Life's a Highway, and it obviously resonated with a lot of people. So. You know, I'm proud of that, but I, I never forget that it's it's a trust. You know, these songs are kind of sometimes you feel like a vessel that the songs come through, and uh, so I'm I'm uh, I'm very lucky to be that vessel that some of these songs have come through. Yeah, and clearly that's why it resonates and, and yeah. it's timeless and it sticks to so many of us. In 1991, you were on the top of the charts with the likes of Michael Jackson, U2, yeah. Nirvana, Brian Adams. What did that feel like to finally break out on your own and achieve that sort of success? I mean, it felt. Incredible! It was it was a euphoric time. It was a, an amazing time, and you, know, and you know you don't really think about it at the time. You're so in it, right? Yeah. And and you don't have time until later, and uh, because you're living it, you're, you're inside the moment, and uh, unfortunately, yeah, you don't get time to to really take a breath and stand back and appreciate it because you're so busy doing it. And you're still and busy. It. You're touring. Yeah, and, and congratulations. You actually have you have a highway and we could I've drive it and ride yeah, it all night long <laughs> and all day long. That's how did that come to be and where is the stretch of highway? Well, it's you know, I don't know who recommended it, but the premier of Manitoba endorsed it. So it's up uh, it's 391. It's a 390 kilometer stretch of highway that goes from Thompson, Manitoba. So there's going to be a sign there. It's a beautiful sign. Like it's got it's got the northern lights on it, and and uh, and then my guitar that I used, and cool. you know, Sursa when when we did Life's a Highway, the video, that guitar, that that old Telecaster Deluxe, and um, pretty cool sign. See the northern lights. That's the coolest. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's kind of all a, of this happening. It's a very cool it, it, what does it feel like? I can tell you're still so grateful. I mean, yeah, you really do appreciate every good thing and every good day. I just wish, you know, Dad had a chance to see it because he was a bush pilot up there and helped open up the north and. Uh, so it's kind of prophetic that way, and um, I don't know, maybe he's looking down on this. I think he's smiling it. down on that is. highway for sure. Continued success, guys. Pick it up. Thank it's the so 25th and reissue, rather, of Mad Mad World, available now. And Tom is actually playing Casino Rama on March 31st. I'm exhausted looking at your dates, and yeah, you said Massey that's Hall. just starting. Like, there's yeah. Massey Hall. Yeah. There's a ton across the country, and yeah. you're actually going to be adding a and lot we love, more. There's a lot of small towns. We get to visit Trail again and Kelowna. You know, and some of these towns we just love. I think Kamloops is in there. So we got, we just, uh, I love playing 
every part of Canada, and that's one great thing of what I do. I get a chance yeah. to go across the country, probably been across, you know, a couple of hundred times, and I get to know the people, and it really gives you a strong sense of what the country is about, and I'm very proud of it, and, um, you know, I'm a proud Canadian. It's it's an incredible country we have. I Thanks think the for best providing country. us with beautiful music to listen to and uplift Thank our you. spirits. It truly is a gift and a blessing. Thank that you so ripple much. effect is always happening with Tom Cochran nearby. Right now, over to Kev.